in these foggles and yeah. you're limited to really just seeing the dash. You can pick out every now and then. I look out the side down and that way you can see the ground and yeah. you don't get seasick or air sick. <laughs> But if you raise your head and look up front, everybody knows you're peeking. You're like, hey, come on. You're not, you're not supposed to do that. Yep. Yeah. If you pull it out, give it a second to fill up. Okay. And you notice there's a little pin right here. There's a hole on this side that lines up with it. And once you push it in, you turn it a little bit and it locks so yep. it can't come back out. Yeah. Notice how there's some pressure yeah. there. That's the fluid going in the carburetor. Yeah, good. Uh, master on, throttle in, eighth okay. of an inch. Yep. Be on the brake. Look around, make sure nobody's out there. Uh, Ignition on, master on, yep. All right. All right. Ignition all the way on. There we go. Yep. Clear pop. Good. That's it. And I have one hand on the throttle to advance the throttle when you're starting it. Okay, make sure you got your feet on the brakes and you got your seat where you want it. Good. All right. Now you're ready to start. Put one hand on the starter and then advance the throttle. Good. Yep. Avionics. Pressure's already up. All right. Yep. So if you want to make sure that comes up, that's like the last thing on my checklist is make sure the oil pressure is up. Okay. Yep. Or it's coming up. Temperature, it takes a while. It may be 10 minutes before the temperature comes up, you know, like your car. Yep. Yep. It would, and we don't have heaters. You know, we got a little bit of heat off of the exhaust yep. in the wintertime. We don't get any heat. Yeah. <laughs> it's air-cooled. All right. All right. Um, let's see. We've got lights good. Radio one eighteen two. Yep. If you want to listen to the weather, we'll go to com two. Condition clear below one two thousand. Yep. That should be around thirteen fifty, but it usually shows fourteen hundred. Two one Celsius. Altimeter three zero zero eight inches of mercury. Remarks density altitude three yep. five That's zero it. zero. Yeah. It's getting hotter, but it's down to 3,500, so it feels like you're taking off from a field that's 3,500 feet above sea level instead of 1,500 or 1,300. Yep, you can turn that off. Go. All right. Yep. Uh, let's see. Seat belt. See the run up here, I guess. You can. Um, yep. Can we run up with the doors open? We have to shut them? Or? Yeah, no, I keep them open okay. yeah, until I take off. I shut it right before okay. I take off. All right. Yep. Uh, transponder set, yep. uh, lights good, flaps are up, seatbelt secure, brakes, we're good. Alright, we'll run up, 1700. Yep. Okay. That's about 1800, that's okay. Check it, you're looking for a 100 RPM drop, or 125, and then 50 between the two. I just go one click to the left, back to both, the two clicks to the left, I notice the drop, go back to both, yep. And then carburetor heat coat, pull it back to idle, make sure it doesn't die. And then, did you do the flight controls already? Not yet, no. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so okay. flight controls. Yep, free and correct. Whichever way you're pointing, the thumb is the one that the aileron should go up. If you took off and it was backwards, though, man, that would be so devastating, you know. <laughs> you had to, like, just get it back from maintenance, and somehow they switched them, you know. Yeah. And you're like, whoa, go left, and the airplane starts going to the right, and you're like, whoa, go back to the right, the airplane goes to the left, like, whoa, 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 whoa. That would be scary. Yeah, I've, I've seen uh, videos where people do that with bicycles, 
and it's impossible to drive. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, I didn't know that. All right, let's get this out. Yep. Yeah, I've got one of those for an older one. Plus, I've got another one of these clips. Springdale Tower, Cessna 420 on the main ramp with the weather ready to taxi via VFR Northeast Mountain. All right, we're good to go. Yep, let's go. Runway 1A, right. taxi via Alpha. 1A, taxi via Alpha, Cessna 420. Yeah, whenever you're stopped, it takes a little bit extra power to get going again, especially if the wheel is turned left or right. Runway 1A, yeah. clear for the option. Oh, 1A, clear for the option. One five bell. Well, they have to wait for us. Yeah, yeah, we have the right of way. <laughs> Pedestrians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's the airport administrator. Go ahead and call and tell me you're ready to taxi and you're staying in the pattern. Springdale Tower, Skyhawk 6487 Bravo at the T hangars, ready to taxi and would like to stay in the pattern. Look. With the weather. 6487 Bravo, yep. Tower, runway 18, taxi via Alpha. The 170 at 3, altitude is 3008. 18 via Alpha, 87 Bravo. That's right. Yep. Yeah, I forgot to tell him I had the weather. That's why he gave That's, us the weather. Yeah. They, well, they ask you that every time, do you have the weather? And yeah. even if you say it, sometimes they'll ask you, and you'll say, yes, I've got the weather. That's just something they do. They, it's like it's stuck in their mind. Yeah. Yep. Got to remind everybody to get the weather. And the new guy that started filling in for the guy that got COVID, I haven't seen him in a while, but the new guy, he says, thank you for the weather. Because yeah. so many people call in and say, now I've got the weather, because they're reminded every time. There's your family up there on the yeah. balcony. I see them. It could be a great day, and if you want, we'll cut the back of your shirt out, or if you've got an older shirt that you don't you don't mind tearing up, we'll just cut the back of it out, and I'll write your name and the first solo and the date and everything okay. on it and give it back to you when you get your license. Or you can cut the back out of a shirt, and I'll just write on it, you know. <laughs> yeah. I brought an extra shirt, so you can do this one if you want. Yeah, the story goes, whenever they had tandem, there'd be a guy in the front, a student, and then the instructor sat behind with a set of controls so he could help out. But whenever he got out, he would cut the shirt and say, nobody can grab you by the back of the shirt anymore. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. This is where your wings can grow in, is what I tell people. <laughs> so your wings can grow in there, yeah. But used to, they'd grab them by the shirt. Yeah, hey, you're screwing up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do this better. you got to do this or do that. When you're sitting side by side, you just reach over and punch the guy. Yeah. Hey, straighten up. Fly right. I told people that sometimes. I'm like, I'm going to start hitting you. Or I'm going to get a stick, you know, to remind you. Whack. <laughs> whack. Keep doing it wrong. Like the, the nuns in Catholic school? Yeah, yeah, whack, <laughs> with a ruler. That's it, I'm going to get a ruler, whack, or a squirt gun. I told Flash I was going to get a squirt gun and start squirting him every time he screwed up like that. You know, it's the same thing. You, you catch them yeah. over and over and over again until they get it corrected in their mind and they get it wired in there right. You just keep reminding them. I do that. I keep going around to the same thing sometimes, and if they didn't get it the first time, maybe they'll get it the second time or the third time or the fourth time I bring it up, and they'll build on to that. They'll, they'll incorporate it into their their brain. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. You're building your brain like a muscle. Got to work it out. And you got to think ahead. You got to be flying ahead of the airplane, they say. Don't fly behind the airplane. That's too late. You know, you can't correct in time. You got to be thinking ahead. Yeah. Or at so, least in the present. Huh? That, are they running? Bill Dagger, yeah, he's either ready to go, he just hasn't called in yet, or he's doing a run-up, and I don't know why he's doing it there. He should have been doing it over here on this apron where they've got a room for it. That's called the Compass Rose. Yeah. And then there's another run-up area over there, but he's lined up at... Four two zero, ready for departure. Yeah, uh, he's ready. He's holding short. It's 420, Springdale Tower, runway 18, clear for takeoff, turn left on course. Clear takeoff, 18, turn left on course, that's the 420. Tail draggers are hard. I know a lot of people that have ground looped 
That's what they call it whenever you're landing and the airplane does a 360 on the runway or oh, wow. off the runway. Really, it's usually off the runway. They go off in the grass and do a, a loop. Tower 2819, correct. 7 to the west, uh, right traffic on 8, like you mean in the pattern. Yeah. Crosswinds are really tricky and with a tail dragger, they're it's doubly so. It's hard to control it's when you get down to the air. ground in low airspeed, right when it's getting ready to stall. Yep. 319, runway 18, clear for the option. One eight cleared option, one eight cleared. Yep, go ahead and call him. Serenial Tower, Skyhawk 6487, Bravo, hold it short, one eight. Yep. 6487, Bravo, Springdale Tower, runway one eight, make left traffic, clear for takeoff. One eight, clear for takeoff, six seven, uh, eight seven, Bravo. And, and if you do say it wrong, just say correction, yeah. and then say it correctly, or just realize, oh, he knows what I meant, you yeah. know. But if it's a, a gross error, like I'll say, oh, I meant west, you know, instead of being, I told him I was east, I was, oh, I meant I'm really west of him, you know. Yeah. And then they'll say, oh, okay. Took off and turn left quick. Yeah, that tail dragger, he's a short field takeoff airplane. Uh, yeah, he probably took off about, about the numbers. <laughs> Yeah, good day. Not too much wind, and it's coming down the runway. Yeah. Yep, that's perfect. Stupid bird. There's 60. Yep, rotate. Let it speed up to 75 to 85. Good. Yeah, you shouldn't have any trouble today. It got a little windy yesterday in the afternoons. It gets windy, so the best time is in the morning. Yeah. 10 o'clock, sometimes you don't know if the wind's picking up yet or not. But today it looks good. If it was really bad, we would back. Can I be a full stop? I'll just let you know. This one I come back. Runway 18, clear to land. Clear to land, 18. Yeah, we've had to reschedule solos before because the wind was too much. The first time I soloed, I was going to solo here in Springdale, but my instructor said it was down the runway at Fayetteville. So we went to Fayetteville, and I had never gone around the pattern there at all, and he soloed me there. Wow. Yep. I was just kind of guessing, you know, I was like, well, I guess this is a mile out, you know. <laughs> it was all eyeball. I've got a calibrated eyeball. Yeah, my shirt said Fayetteville, but all my other time was at Springdale. And I've still got my solo shirt. Oh, yeah? Yeah, when I first got it back, I think I kept it between the mattress and the box springs or something, like it'd give me luck, you know. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that's my good luck charm. And then I just kept it in the drawer with my underwear, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got it. I'll never forget the day I saw it. Most people don't, you know. Yeah. You're walking on air the rest of the day going, I did it. I'm a pilot. Yeah. I did it by myself. And then you could go out to 25 miles is the limit. When you're soloing, for 90 days I sign you off and you can fly out here. Just don't go over X and A. Yeah. Stay outside of their class Charlie. Don't go next to Roger. Stay outside their class Delta and pay it bill. Yeah. Now, if you're out over to the lake or further to the east, you're okay. And then when you get to Huntsville, that's the limit, really, 25 miles. And that's your alternate. If it's too windy to land here, you can go over and land at Huntsville, and we'll go over there next week. Okay. Yeah, or whenever. The next time we go together, we'll fly over there and land, do a couple landings over there. It's lined up on east and west. And then I'll sign you off. That'll be your alternate. Okay. You can always go over there and land. Anytime you want to practice, or if it's too windy here, you could go over there and call me, and I'll come get you or something. Okay. Yep. Or call your wife or girlfriend or somebody, they'll come get you. I'll come get you if I have to. That's untowered, so that's all CTAF? Yep. Yep. Common traffic advisory yep. frequency, you just say Huntsville traffic, says to 6487 Bravos, five miles to the west, inbound landing, whatever runway you want to land on. It's one, two, or three, zero. Yep. Yep, 120 or 300 degrees. 
the States, Embraer will continue downwind. You'll be number three following an uh, aircraft that's on a four and a half mile straight in. Continue downwind. Continue downwind, uh, looking for traffic. 87 Bravo. Good. And we're number three. Traffic, uh, so one guy's right there. He's close final, or short final. The other guy's going to be out there somewhere on that three degree glide path. There he is. Good. Yep, I got it. He's on about a five mile final. Watch your aircraft type. Right. Yeah, we're waiting. When you pass him on final and you're downwind, that's your cue that you can start your base because you're a mile away. Yep. You're a mile behind him. Okay, the seven, Bravo, you're looking for a twin Cessna on the two mile final. Great American sight, 87 Bravo. Good. Cessna 87 Bravo, base at your discretion to follow the twin. My discretion, follow the traffic, 87 Bravo. Yep. Yeah, once you pass him on final, you turn base. Since he's going faster than us, you could turn a little bit earlier, but yeah, there's no sense in scaring him. He's not going to get scared, because he knows you can't catch him now. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be on the ground before we get over there. Springfield Towers, Skyhawk 7. Go ahead and start your base. Right. You're on the ramp with weather, and I would like to work the pattern today. This one nine, come back, taxi depart. And these will all be full stop taxi back. Okay. Yep. Give way to the inbound Cessna and then taxi to 18B Alpha. Give way to inbound 18B Alpha, 02 Golf. This 15 Golf, your number three, following the Cessna that's down, went ahead to you. Alright, seatbelt secure, fuel on both, mix rich, car beat out, landing lights on. Good. Flaps not ready. Yeah, flaps and power as desired. And you just said you're not ready for them yet. I always wait till I make sure that I can make it to the runway. Because every time you put the flaps in, you have to add power to get there. Yeah, I wait till I'm on a mile final sometimes before I put the flaps in. Yep, good spacing. Even though he's going a lot faster than us, if he was a single engine, that'd be perfect. He's a mile ahead of us. Yep, I don't crowd people whenever they're getting ready to land. You should stay a mile behind them all the way around the pattern. And when we go to Oshkosh, they have planes landing clear all the time. Runway 1 8, clear for the option, wind is calm. Is that me? Yep. Yeah. Clear for the option 8 7 Bravo, this is going to be a full stop taxi back. Good. Okay. Great. Sure, that way he knows what to expect. That's always out. nice. Yeah, but there'll be like a whole caravan of planes landing and everybody's a mile apart going into Oshkosh. They'll have three people landing on the one runway. They'll have one guy land long, they'll have a, a circle painted on the ground, and another one land in the middle, and another one land short. Three people at a time landing on the runway and taxiing off. The next three people, next three people. They'll have three people landing on the taxiway three at a time. Wow. Yeah, and you taxi in the grass. They're using both of them, so they got two runways. They'll have like 10,000 airplanes there this week. Yep, if you're going a little bit slow, sometimes I add a little bit of power and then take it back out. Good. That's it, let it keep sinking that last little bit, then round out and hold it off the ground. Oh, that wasn't too bad, that was okay. Yeah, if you want to, you could even stop at this first okay. road here. Not too much. Easy, easy, uh, start out slow. Easy, easy. And now we do it. Timber, I will tax you back via Alpha. Take you back to the Alpha, it's some problem. That's it, keep that right turn going. If you need to turn really sharp, use the brake on the top of the pedal okay. and you can pivot like a tank. Yeah, if you can stop like that and just slow it down and get off at that first exit, that's good. But normally you'll get off at that next exit when it's just you. You won't be able to, I mean, unless you get lucky, you know. You'll probably land a little bit further down and have to go past that first exit and that's okay. Most everybody goes down to Alpha 4 and exits. Yeah. yeah. So that, uh, I thought that would save us a minute, though, yeah. taxi. So I was like, okay, let's go ahead and go for it. Okay. Yeah. So that, uh, he said taxi via Alpha, so he already knows what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you told yeah. him you're going to taxi back. So as soon as you're on the runway, he'll say you're cleared to taxi back to 1-8. Yep, okay. Uh -huh. And then after the third one, we'll get off at Alpha 4, even though you might be able to get off at that first or second exit. And I'll get out of the airplane, and I'll tell him, I'll say, you're going to solo. Okay. And then he'll say, okay, and then you'll say, I'm, I'm ready to taxi, you'll taxi down here, say, I'm ready to take off, come back in, land, taxi back, take okay. off again, do it three times. Yeah, it'll be really easy. Most people enjoy it, and they get really excited, you know, the adrenaline's pumping. You're like, do I remember everything? Yeah, just wait till this guy lands before you call him, because if you call him now, he's going to tell you the whole short yeah. anyway. Yeah. And a lot of people don't look up.
They always say that I'm ready, but then they look up and they go, oh man, I should have waited. Yeah. That's it. It just saves an extra call. Yep. If you know when to call, you, you can do it timing-wise and save everybody an extra call. All the ones that end with gulp are from ARH. There's 02 gulp, 15 gulp, and 19 yep. gulp. And they have students sometimes, so you might have two student pilots in the pattern. Yep. So that's why I always tell everybody, stay a mile back. You never know, that guy in front of you may have a problem. Yep. He may be stuck on the runway. I had that happen one time. The brakes locked up, that's what they said. The airplane was stuck on the runway. And so I had to go around. You know, and you can always go around at full power. Take the flaps off one notch at a time as long as you're over 60. Yep. I can park in. One five golf. Have a good day. Springdale Tower, Skyhawk 6487 Bravo, holding short 1 8. Good. Yeah, that guy stopped on the runway for some reason. The 6487 Bravo, Springdale Tower, runway 1 8. Make right traffic this time, clear for takeoff. 1 8, clear for takeoff, right traffic, 87 Bravo. Good. Yeah, because that wasn't standard, right traffic. Normally you'd say left traffic and you wouldn't say anything back, yep. but if he says right traffic or continue down the runway heading, or you read it back to him, say runway heading, that way he knows that you heard him. Yeah. I think those are all the contingencies. He may tell you to continue downwind because somebody else is landing. Extra rich, car beat in, landing lights off, flaps down, fuel on both. Yep, hold it on the center line or close to it. There's, There's speed. Yep. 60. Good. Nice. Yeah, there's no wind. The wind sock's just limp. You can tell, you know, whenever it's blowing three knots, there's a little bit of a dimple coming out of it or whatever. Yeah. That first little section. Sometimes they'll have white, orange, white, orange, and each one of those little changes in color is three degrees, or three knots, I mean, three knots. Yeah. So, 15 knots is fully erect, and when it's hanging there, there's nothing. They'll say uh, light and variable, or calm winds. It's a good day to solo. Yeah. Yeah, you just don't want a big crosswind when somebody's not used to it. I've not, I've not crossed Lynn's heart, and we're making right traffic this time. Yep. Yep. Skog 64336, Springdale Tower in the left downwind for runway 18. Left downwind 18336. Yeah, you got a good head on your shoulders. You'll be fine. I worry about that new kid, though. <laughs> oh, my God. He's hyper or something. He is. Yes. Yesterday he went down to the terminal, and I don't know if it was somebody that he knew or whatever, but he invited somebody back to the hangar, some old man. Oh wow! Uh, and he sent me a picture of him, and the, the people in the t in the terminal called to see if it was okay. I was like, well, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know him. Some people are just really excited. Yep. Now the highway is a good mile out. Yep. It makes a little jog. I know the highway changes from the distance a little bit. It might be that road over there is more like, or, or that football field is a mile away. Three three six runway one eight clear to land. Yeah, this looks good. Clear to land one eight three three six. You get an eye for it after a while. That looks like about a mile. Yep. Yep. That's what you want. Doesn't matter which airport you go to, they all look the about... Bravo, your number two falling in Cessna coming up and beam the tower on the left downwind. Number two falling Cessna looking for traffic. 87 Bravo. Perfect. That's right. And if you see them say, I've got the traffic in sight. Yep. So the traffic was left downwind? Yeah, there he is. Just off the other side of our wing. See him? Awesome. Yeah, yep, yeah. he's above the horizon, so he's easier to spot, yeah. or sometimes they're easier if they're below the horizon, but anyway, I can see him just fine. He's going to be a little bit ahead of us. Left traffic, normal pattern. Left traffic in the pattern, here to go. But should I tell him traffic in sight then, or? Yeah, you can tell him you got right. traffic in sight. Springdale Tower, 87 Bravo, traffic in sight. Good. 87 Bravo, Roger, number two, follow the Cessna. Follow the Cessna. 
Follow Cessna, he's having a problem. Yep. Yeah, just about every time he gives you an instruction, you try to repeat back with the important part, like you're cleared to land. Yep. Or follow the Cessna. Sometimes they'll give you the altimeter setting, 3008. I just double click, that means I heard you. Yeah. Yep. That's another way of doing it. Or just your call sign, say 87 Bravo. I heard you. Yep. So he's on base now. Okay. So I should extend until he turns final? Uh huh. Yeah, yep. wait till he turns on final, and then you can turn base. I lost him. I don't see him now. Right over the top, uh, right over the hill. Oh, okay. Pretty yeah, I got, him. I got him now. Yep. I can turn now, right? Yep, yeah. you can start now. Yeah, he's really close to turning final if he hasn't already. Start pulling your power back to 1700. Hold your altitude up a little bit. We're a little low. And then you'll see the pappy lights when we get over there. You'll see that you're either just low or you're right on the money. About 2400 should be normal. Three degree glide slope out this far. We're about two miles. Or a mile and a half final. Did he clear us to land? Not yet. Okay. He just said follow the guy. And we saw him, we've got traffic in sight. Oh, maybe he did. Took off. You're now number two, following us just on right base. Maybe he did. Either way, he'll clear you before you touch down if he has it. And then you can always verify. Just want to check, are we clear to land? I hear people do that all the time. I think I'm high clearance to India, Quebec, Victor. I've got India, Kilo Victor. India, Kilo Victor, yeah. Yeah. Centurion 210, Whiskey Victor. Centurion's the next size up from the 182, a Cessna 210. It sometimes has the same engine as we have in our 182, but it's bigger, a 210. Got more useful load, usually. You can definitely carry more stuff. Yeah, we're going to just be here at the FBO here on A4, probably. Better turn right out for four. Just left the Bravo runway 18, clear to land. 18, clear to land, A7, Bravo. Centurion Zero, Whiskey Victor, go ahead with that. Clear to India, Kilo Victor. Yep. Push your nose over a little bit and start back down. We're gonna, we had the Pappy, but we lost it just for a second. Yeah. Yeah, because we were just holding our altitude, pretty much. And now we're back in it. Yeah, it doesn't take much to get it going again. You're going down 500 feet per minute, that's perfect. Yep, airspeed, we want to keep it up over 70 until we get there. If you need to, add a little bit of power, but you're still doing fine. You might be able to just keep it at 70 all the way down there and then round out, flare a little bit as you're touching down. Nice. Centurion Zero, Whiskey yep. Victor, will you ready to taxi? Yep, pull the power back to idle, hold it over the center, and then hold the nose up off a little bit if you can. Hold that nose up, keep pulling back on it, yeah. As you're pulling back, you get more lift off of the wings, and you can slow down even more as you're coming down. If you're at 50, you can slow it down to 40 just by tilting back a little bit. Somebody messed up the hangar. Wow. Whoa. That's a boogered up hangar door. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to taxi on. We're going to get off on Alpha 4. You'll stop if he doesn't tell you. Ask him, say, I'd like to taxi back. Bravo, taxi back to 18V Alpha. 18V Alpha, 87 Bravo. Good. And if you have to taxi on the runway, they call it a back taxi yeah. instead of a taxi back. Okay, I didn't know if you knew that. Good. Yeah, they, uh, I love it when people know stuff when I tell them that. So I don't have to tell them again. You know, oh, he already knows that. There's no way they would do that with this, how busy this is right now, right? Right. Yeah, you wouldn't back taxi on the runway in Springdale because we've got a taxiway that goes all the way to the end. But if they were painting the taxiway, they'd say back taxi on the runway. Yep. Yep. If they were repaving it or adding something to it, it was shut down. They do that a lot. And if they're painting the runway, sometimes they'll say you can land on the taxiway. I've done that before in some airports like Muskogee. Uh, Clarksville was like that. They just got to resurface in their runway last year or, or earlier this year. And we went down there and we landed on the taxiway. But it's not as smooth and it's not as flat. Sometimes you got a lot more bumps on the taxiway. They don't expect you to go very fast. Yeah, 
Now, when the wind starts blowing you and you're having trouble holding it over the runway, I use the ailerons just a little bit. I don't bank, but I just go like one or two degrees to the right or two degrees to the left, and then I use the rudder to line up straight down the runway before I touch down. Doesn't matter if you land on the left side, the right side, or the middle. you got to be pointing straight down the runway. Don't go off in the grass. Yeah. Yep. You'll lose control. And then once you go off onto the grass, sometimes there's a little ditch there, and you dip in the, the propeller hits the ground. They call it a prop strike. Then everybody's done flying for a while. Yeah. Yeah. It sucks. Do not want to do that. Yep, you can call him. Springdale Tower, Skyhawk 6487 Bravo, holding short, 18. The 6487 Bravo, Springdale Tower, runway 18, make left, close traffic, clear for takeoff. 18, clear for takeoff, 87 Bravo. Perfect. Yep. A lot of times people will say, I'll be ready at the end. That way you don't have to stop. Yeah. Anything to save a minute. Yeah. yeah. I'll call them up when I'm still taxiing down the taxi. I'll be ready at the end. Yeah. And then, hell, okay, you're, you're going to take off. If you pull up there and you stop, and then it takes you another 10 seconds to get rolling again. You know, it's not much, but it saves you a little bit of time. Yeah. And then when you're taxiing onto the runway, I don't use the brakes, I just keep taxiing out. I don't know why these people are telling them to taxi out there and hold. Yeah. The only time you do that is if you want to do a short field takeoff, you hold the brakes and you give it full throttle. When you release the brakes, it kind of lurches and jumps off the line. And you want to use all the available runway. So I taxi up with that left wheel right next to the edge of the grass and then line up on the runway, hold the brakes and the nose wheel straight, give it full throttle. Notice how the wind socks just barely any lift at all. There's like three knots or maybe one knot of wind blowing through it. But when it picks up and you see it start blowing out there, you know it's going to be blowing you to the left. Yep. And if you just start getting too much wind, you may not be able to get that third lap in or something. Or if you don't feel comfortable, just say, I, I can only do one today. Yep. I've had people do that. I say, oh, that's fine. And then the next time we come out here, we'll do the same thing. I'll go around three times, and I'll wait and watch them do it three times if they can. Zero two golf, runway one eight, clear for the option. Runway one eight, cleared option. Zero two golf. Yeah, you know, sometimes the weather changes, and you just have to reschedule it. Say, oh man, the wind picked up. Yep. Yeah. If you don't feel comfortable, don't do it. You just trust that gut feeling. You know, yeah. we've all got that gut feeling. I don't feel safe. That's why I go around three times on that day with you, because if you have trouble, you know, I can see it. Yeah. I'll say, oh, you know, I don't think you're ready today. Let's, let's wait till it calms down a little bit more. Usually the pilot says, I want to go again with you, you know. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, that's fine, I understand. It's all a, a feeling of confidence and whether you're proficient or not. I'll see if you're not proficient, I'll say, you're not ready. Yeah. But I think you're ready, and, and this will be the last one. I think I'll get out and watch you do it three times. Okay. Yep. Just use good judgment. I know you keep going over your mind, dude. I remember everything, you know. Yeah. What, what was it Gary said, you know? <laughs> That's what I hear people say. Like, man, I'm trying to remember what you always say. What would Gary do? Yeah, what would <laughs> Gary do? He'd pull it back to 50, uh, 1700, start his base turn, Start lining up on the runway, turn a little bit early, put the flaps in when you know you've got it made. Yeah. Go through the checklist. Yep. That's really all you have to do. You've been doing it all along. I haven't had to do anything except sit here and watch you do it today. But I've been here, and then I won't be. And the airplane will fly a lot better without me because it has more horsepower compared to the weight that it's lifting. Yeah, like with yesterday with him sitting in the back. Yeah, it was a dog with him because we were max load. Yeah. It's going to be like 1,500 pounds or 16 or 1,700 pounds without me in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was learning on a Cessna 152, which only had 100 horsepower, and it was a two-seater. Bravo, continue down, and I'll call you back. I'm going to depart a uh, Centurion between you and the Cessna on final. Extend downwind, uh, looking for traffic, number 287 Bravo. No, no, he's going to let a guy depart. Oh, 87 Bravo, extend downwind. Uh, he's looking. He's going to let that guy go before we turn. Oh, okay. That's what he was saying. Okay, okay. There's another guy landing, and then he's going to let the other guy go, and then he's going to let us land, I think. 
Gotcha. But either way, yeah, continue downwind. That's all you had to say. Continue downwind. But normally we are looking for traffic because we're number two to land, but he's going to land one and then depart one. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, I see him. I rewatched that Top Gun movie. Uh, I had one. It's a version called uh, Rift Tracks where these three guys are making fun of the movie. I don't know if you ever saw it or not, uh -uh, but, but no. it's a comedy troupe called Riff Tracks. They used to have a show called Mystery Science Theater 3000. I remember that one, yeah. yeah. Well, then they started doing these Riff Tracks of the popular movies that people were watching, and Top Gun was one of them, and they were always giving them hell, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, I love the part where they hand the guy the coffee and then they do the flyby and he spills coffee all over me. Like, it's twice in one day. He said, I want some butts. The guy says, I want some butts. He's wanting to chew somebody's ass. Test 87 Bravo, base leg at your discretion, runway 18, cleared to land. Base at my discretion, 18, cleared to land, 87 Bravo. Yep, you could have just said turning left base, but same thing. At your discretion, if you want to keep going, you could, or you could turn it now. But since this is extended, I'm not, uh, I'm not descending quite as fast as right. you. Right, you hold your altitude until you get on final, and you lose it all on the final. That gives you more time to get that sight picture too. You'll zero in on it. Yeah. The longer you look down there, and it's got two red and two white, you get that proper alignment. You go, this is what it looks like when I'm a mile out, or this is what it looks like when I'm two miles out. Right now, we're almost three miles out, like two and a half. Yeah, that little beacon over there, that's the BOR over to the right, that white thing, yeah. that's four miles, 4.3 miles from the runway. Yep, we come right through there when we're doing instrument approaches. That's one of the fixes that we approach. All right, he's taking off, so we're good. Yep. All right. Seatbelt secure, fuel on both, mix rich, car beat out, landing lights on, yep. collapse as desired. Yep. As long as you're going under 100 and you are, uh-huh. Yeah, a lot of people like to put all 30 degrees of flaps in and then they'll even set their pitch up so that they're coming in at the right angle. Me, I might change mine a couple of times. I may, I may go steeper or shallower, like we're going to go steeper a little bit and catch it. We're going to come down about 800 feet per minute until we see the red lights. There it is. And then shallow it up a little bit. Whiskey Victor, contact departure. That looks good. Yeah, even if you just got one red light, you're still in the pipe. What was that? Uh, aliens. Yeah, I'm in the pipe. Five, five, five. You remember that? I do, yeah. Yeah, that was a great scene. The jump ship or whatever, where they drop down out of orbit. That's just like an instrument approach. You can't see shit. <laughs> you know, you're in the pipe, five by five, five. And then you break out right about 200 feet above the ground. Runway 18, clear for the option. And you go, there's the airport. That's a great feeling when it works. Yep, wind's blowing just a little bit from the right to the left. So you want to line up a little bit on the right side, maybe. Right. Yep or just hold it, don't let it push you over to the left. That's it. Yeah. Yep. And then when you get this close, you round out, use that left rudder just a little bit to line up down the runway, hold back on it, and keep pulling back. You can flare out and just let it really touch down gently. I just helped a little bit by pulling back just a little bit more, but that was mostly you. You had it fine, and it would have landed just fine, but gently you can do a little bit more. A little fine tuning okay. on it, but uh, it's okay if you land a little bit hard. Most people say, oh, I landed hard, but that's okay. So we're yep. taxiing the FBO? Yep. Or? No, just turn out and, and line up like you're going down the taxiway, and I'll get out. Okay. Yep. You're going to make a right and then another right on the taxiway. Taxi Bravo, taxi back to 18 via Alpha. Taxi back 18 via Alpha, 87 Bravo. I'm going to get out here right here and let him solo and uh, watch him from the FBO. This is 87 Bravo, Roger. Three and done. What did he say? I don't know. I didn't catch it. Go until you cross the railroad tracks or the yellow lines. Up here? Good, huh? All right. Good luck. 
Alright, thank you. <laughs> Extra rich. Carb heat cold. Flaps up. Seatbelt secure. Alright, let's go. Alright, here we go. Alright, mixture rich, carb heat in, landing lights off, flaps up. Good. On, avionics on, got my radio set. <sighs> got traffic coming down the runway. Pipe. Already does feel like I'm going faster without Gary on the plane. <clears throat> right. No different. No different. Just do the same thing. Same. Tower. Eight. Hawk 6487 Bravo. Holy short. One. Springdale Tower, Skyhawk 6487 Bravo, holding short 18. This is 6487 Bravo, Springdale Tower, runway 18, make left traffic, clear for takeoff. 18, clear for ta takeoff. 87 Bravo. Left traffic. 18, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for taxi, T takeoff. What am I cleared for? All right, <clears throat> same as always, center of the runway, center of the center line, mixture rich, car beat cold, landing lights off, flips up, and we're good to go. Center of the runway, center of the runway, the airspeed is alive. We're at 47, 50, 6, 59, 60. Up, ground effect, let ground effect take over, get up to 75, 70, there we go, alright. And then gravity, I feel a change, it does feel different. Feet off the brakes. This is zero to go off, runway 18, clear for the option. Runway 18, clear for the option, zero to go. Alright, let's set up straight. We're gonna do left traffic, climbing. Over to Don Tyson, and we're gonna take a left. Oh, wow, I'm climbing way faster now. That's crazy. Left traffic. Start pulling back some of the power. I'm climbing really good. Alright, so we're crosswind now. I can hear the engine saying, let's go, let's go, there's nobody in the plane with me. Alright, I'm going to turn downwind now, start producing some power because I am at altitude.
All right. There we go. That's reducing power. All right. Now I can breathe a little bit. Breathe, breathe. Tell me to report midfield, so I am not going to report midfield. This takes him, Bravo, number two, following assessed on a mile final. Traffic in sight, 87 Bravo, number two. that up pretty quick. Alright. We're good. I get over these towers. I'll start descending. Cessna 87 Bravo, runway 18, cleared to land. 18, cleared to land, 87 Bravo. Towers. All right, back to 1700. And seatbelt secure, fuel on both, mixture rich, car beat out, landing lights on. All right, we're under 100, so I can pull flaps now. All right, now, final. that all right still a little high but I can see the runway from here let's capture it come on there it is all right Stay at 80 there's two reds two whites this is just what I want Three reds. All right. Aim for the numbers. Aim for the numbers. Okay, and out, round. Round a bit too much, and then pull up, pull up. Much. Little, little. Much on the front, I think. much on the front. I didn't round up enough, just like Gary was saying. Just the zero two go off, runway one eight, cleared for the option. Runway one eight, cleared option, zero two go. Alright, so now eight seven bravo, taxi back to one eight via alpha. One eight via alpha, eight seven bravo. Alright. Burly. Alright. Stop using my hands, use my feet. Place. Alright, we are over here. Cross. Now, flaps down. Clean up. Car feet in. Mix rich. Lane of lights off. Alright. Yeah. Much easier when there's only one person in the pattern. That's for sure.
Much easier. I mix rich, carb heat in, landing lights off, fuel on both, flaps up, ready to go. I see them on base, getting ready to turn final. I felt like I could have turned base a little later. I didn't give myself much time there. I see him on final now, so I'll just sit here and wait. Waiting, I'm gonna turn up the Bluetooth. Long final, I probably could have gone. Probably could have gone. Well, um, third base a little too quick, it feels like I did. Um, and I player could have been more. It just feels weird pulling up so hard right towards the very end because I mean it, it is a good pull up out of force all right this guy is landing there we go touching down Once I see them start to... Springdale Tower, Skyhawk 6487 Bravo, hold it short, 18. 6487 Bravo, Springdale Tower, runway 18, clear for takeoff, make left traffic. 18, clear for takeoff, 87 Bravo. They did a touch and go, so I'm going to be about a mile behind them. Alright. Alright, mixture rich, carby cold, landing lights off, flaps up, fuel on both, full power. Let's do this. No brakes, no brakes. I don't want to go slow, I want to go fast. Center line, right down the center line. Let's do this. All right, airspeed alive. There's 55 and 60. Pull up. Get that ground effect. There it is. And pull up for more. There we go. They are crosswind now. Let's fly down the center of the runway, like Gary tells me, over and over again, because I then to lean left, I think. Alright. There we go. You know, um, what I was thinking was I wouldn't vocalize any of this and I would internalize it because I internalize all my self talk in my regular life, but it is actually extremely helpful vocalizing my checklist, vocalizing my thoughts. Not only do I get to hear it, but I also get to say it, uh, it just reinforces. System 0 to go off, runway 18, clear for the option. Runway 18, cleared option, 0 to go. Alright, 
We'll start turning here. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'm able to turn earlier with without a passenger. It's just another person. That's crazy. What weight does. I mean, you learn about it. Lift, thrust, drag, and weight. Alright, I can start to slow down a bit. Alright, we're at pattern altitude. Turning crosswind, or turning downwind. From crosswind. Yeah, I like shallow turns. I do not like steep turns. No, thank you. All right, where is traffic? If I can find it before he does, before he tells me anything anyway. I don't see him. Well, traffic's not a factor, that's for sure, but I would like to see him. This is in the Bravo number two calling Cessna, turn into mile and a half final. Number two, following a Cessna, 87 Bravo. in a mile final. There he is. There he is. That's a long downwind, or long Steady elevation. I'm having to. Seven Bravo, runway one eight, clear to land. One eight, clear to land. Eight seven Bravo. I saw him landing. All right. Back to seventeen hundred. Oop, not that low. There we go. Seventeen hundred. All right. Now we are under a hundred, so I can flap it out. Seatbelt secure, fuel on both, mixture rich, car feet, and landing lights on. All right. Okay, always capture it. There we go, let's straighten up, straighten up. All right, 94, I can lower the throttle a bit. Let's capture it a little bit more. All right, looks like the wind is directly into me, so this should be helpful. And last thing, it flaps, I'm still high. That's all right, still high. Nose down, 500, 800 feet of vent. There's that red one. That's what I wanted. All right, there's 80. There's the second red. Now we'll just stick at 80 this whole time. Oh. All right, let's get over the numbers at 70. Okay, we're going to round out. There, alright, 
that one. I had to flare twice. All right. Alright, hands off the yoke. Hands off the yoke. Alright. Just a seven Bravo taxi back to 18B Alpha. 18B Alpha, 87 Bravo. Cessna 0 2 Golf, runway 18, clear for the option. 18, clear for option, 18 2 Golf. In mixture, lean for taxi, landing lights off. Flaps up, but I push down. Alright, so that second landing was smoother, but not as technically correct, it felt like. I will say, it does feel easier landing without somebody in the plane. Like, I feel like I have a little more control over what I'm doing. I'm taxiing way too fast here. I just want to get back to my family, celebrate with them, maybe have some lunch. Go up to my boys and say, your daddy's a pilot. Your daddy is a pilot. Alright, this guy is, looks like he's still downwind, about to turn base, so I'm going to try to beat him. Springdale Tower, Skyhawk 6487 Bravo, holding short, 18. This is 7 Bravo Tower, runway 18, clear for takeoff, make left traffic. 18, clear for takeoff, 87 Bravo. Left traffic, left traffic. No gotchas on the first solo. No right traffic, no 360s, that, huh? All right. Carpeat, whoop, let's go straight. All right, carpeat, there we go. Carpeat in, mix, rich, landing lights off, fuel selector both, flaps down. All right, get your feet off the brakes, Ben. What am I doing? All right, let's get back in that middle of the runway. There we go, airspeed alive. I'm at 56. And there is 60 for rotate. Let's get it off the ground. There's ground effect. And 70, 75. There we go. All right, now let's fly down the middle of this runway. Let's see if we can do it right on the last one of the day. Last one of the day. 85, 75 to 85 climb speed. I know it says VY is. 91, but Gary says 75 to 85, so I'm going to do what Gady, Gary says, not what BY says. Alright. We're 300 feet above, still climbing, 500 feet per minute. You know, I've noticed uh, a couple times flying that I've actually put the throttle not all the way in. Uh, so far, this is my third one. Solo, I put it in all the way every time, so that's good. All right, here coming up on my one mile. I can start making my turn. Still want to keep climbing. Yeah, I don't like steep turns. I just don't like it. That's weird. I am not uh, getting into planes because of Top Gun. It, Top Gun's cool, but. I just like planes. I like getting places without detours and all of that stuff. I guess you have diversions in a, in a plane too, huh? All right, all right. 2200, I'm climbing quite quickly. So let's slow that down. All right, start turning downwind. is coordinated. There we go. Let's line up right with this road. 
That's a Butterfield coach. I don't know what that is. Stagecoach road, maybe? All right. Twenty-two hundred RPM. This is twenty-one hundred. There we go. Level flight. Right at eight seven Bravo, runway one eight, clear to land. One eight, clear to land. Eight seven Bravo. All right, and I could have said this will be a full stop, and I probably should have to stay in front of everything. Um, Yeah, whoa, too high. All right. All right. Yeah, so I'll tell him full stop. Next to the FBO, maybe? Um, you know, I didn't ask Gary where I was going to taxi back to. Zero two, go off your number two this time. Farm the Cessna that's downwind ahead. Number two in line for one A. Zero two, go. Yeah, you're behind me, so you go after me, and you should say traffic in sight. Whoa, that that felt weird. A little pocket of air. All right, uh, we're about to turn base here. We're at pattern altitude. I go ahead and do my check, seatbelt secure, fuel on both, mixture ridge, carb heat out, landing lights on. All right, 1700, turning base. There we go. I like doing flaps on base. Alright, first set of flaps. Got good rate of climb or rate of descent. Going a little slow, 80, so let's pick her up a little bit. Hundred collapse two collapse three. There we go. All right, now let's capture that red. What would I do without these pappy lights? I got to get used to the sight picture of the runway. There we go. All right, sight picture of the runway. Got one red light. Uh, second red light, there we go. Cessna 02 Golf, runway 18, clear for the option. 18, clear for option 02 Golf. Alright, I'm at 80 over the Jones Center. 75 over the Jones Center. About to be 70 over the numbers. There we go. Not ready to round out yet. Round out. Clear. Oh, whoa. Clear too much. There we go. Okay. Alright, no more hands. No more hands. No more hands. Feet. Feet only. All right, Alpha Four. Go turn right here. Signal Tower, this is Skyhawk Seven Six Zero Two Golf. Uh, this landing is going to be a full stop for us. The Zero Two Golf, Roger, clear to land. Clear to land. One Eight Zero Two Golf. The State Server, I'll be going to park. 
Uh, going to park uh, FBO. Uh, actually, uh, the T hangers, and I'll drive to FBO. 87 Bravo. Ready. Taxi to park. Taxi to park, 87 Bravo. Uh, mixture, lean for taxi. And landing lights off. Car P in. Lean for taxi. Flaps up. Bill on both. Alright. I can open this window, I guess. Alright. Get out of here and go have some lunch.